Hello and welcome everybody to another StarCraft 2 cast by Glitch. Today I'm going to be casting for you a bunch of Nurchio games actually. I kind of toyed with the idea of uh, casting some more IEM games but decided I would take a look since I've kind of done that the past couple of days. Thought I would take a look around the internet, see what else is going on out there. Came across a bunch of games by Nurchio, thought I would cast a bunch. So I picked just a random smattering of Nurchio games. I have no idea what's going to happen. I don't even know if Nurchio is going to be winning in all of these games. I'm just going to be blindly grabbing a ZVT, a ZVP, and a ZVZ from Nurchio and casting those games just to take a little bit of a peek into Nurchio's style. So, uh, for this first game, I am going to be bringing to you a ZVT and spotting here in the 12 o'clock position against all authorities, Nurchio. Going to be spawning up here as the blue Zerg in this 12 o'clock position. His opponent, his Terran opponent for today, is going to be spawning in the 6 o'clock position as the purple Terran. We are going to have ESC Gaming's Goody here to go up against Nurchio. So far, Goody going for that very standard supply depot. Going to see that barracks being plunkered down here any second now. Nurchio in the meantime looks like he might be saving up here, maybe going to be going for a fast expansion. I have seen Nurchio do a lot of fast expanding against his opponent. Definitely haven't seen him do too much uh, early game aggression from Nurchio, or at least not before at least getting that uh, hatchery up. And as we can see, yeah, it looks like we are going to be seeing an immediate hatch here from Nurchio and it looks like, yeah, that's going to be a 14 hatchery there for Nurchio. Going to be droning up a little bit more, throwing down that pool very very shortly in the meantime drone coming around to try to scout his opponent uh, he has not yet seen uh, that he his opponent has not spawned here in close positions this is the MLG version of the map so pretty much from scouting this position here he's gonna know instantly that his opponent is here uh, this is the MLG version of Metalopolis as you can see there is the supply depot that is in this lower position at the bottom of the ramp and of course, on MLG Metalopolis, players cannot spawn close by ground. So that means if Nurchio is here, Goody cannot spawn here. He could potentially spawn here, but that is uh, obviously not going to be the case as his overlord that he has here did scout that position right away from the start, immediately telling Nurchio the position of his opponent. Now we do have one Marine coming out here for Goody, and he does have an SCV up here currently at the base, so he is going to be able to poke in here, maybe even start throwing down that bunker. His Marine is still very, very far away though. Not going to be a while until that Marine gets up here. I should actually briefly mention that all the games that I am going to be casting today of Nurchios all came from the same tournament. They are all going to be from the Zotac Cup, which is a European weekly online tournament that happens, I think, for 100 euros every single week. Um, it's just a whole bunch of best of ones leading up to, I think, the quarterfinal match where they do either a best of three, a best of five. I can't remember. I know that the finals is a best of five. And now I should be jumping into this game as we do have a Marine here coming in down, managing to get a drone kill there. The Zergling's just running right by. Will he get a second drone? Drone kill. No, Nurchio does manage to pull that one drone back before that Zergling is able, to, or before that Marine is able to take out a second drone. And now Nurchio is going to be moving across the map with these Zerglings. Now it looks like we do actually have Goody here getting ready to do a little bit of something tricky here. Two uh, SCVs going down, and yes, we're actually seeing two starports going down right now for Goody. And in the meantime, Nurchio is going to be scouting out his opponent, checking out into his opponent's base. Uh, if he can get in there, he'll be able to see that his opponent has two gas geysers down. Not much going on in the main right now. Is he going to be able to tell what's going down? He's going to see right now that there is no expansion here for Nurchio. Nurchio poking up into the main, seeing that the barracks has no add-on right now. Could he actually see that factory? No, he cannot actually see the factory there that was down for Goody. And now uh, looks like Nurchio going to be just responding by just getting down and... Whoa, actually, Nurchio getting a perfect read on the situation. I don't think he saw these starports. No, he's doing this completely blind. He just completely saw that his opponent only had one Rax uh, in the main with no add-on in it. Saw that there was no expansion and immediately guessed that there were just two starports somewhere on the map there for Nurchio, uh, for Goody rather. And now how is he going to be responding to this? He has another queen on the way currently on the field right now. Two queens, one more queen coming up right there. Evolution Chamber just now coming down here for Nurchio, and Nurchio, unbelievable, actually really, really surprised that he had that good of a read on the situation. Wow, that's absolutely unbelievable. He's uh, currently producing a lot of lings. Looks like he might be going for a big kind of counterattack here. This one Hellion's coming into the uh, natural expansion right now, but it looks like Nurchio is going to be able to fend that off with a queen. Two uh, queens currently at the natural. No more queens currently coming down. Evolution Chamber coming in right now, but the Banshees have now started production. 
No cloak add-ons going down yet. Looks like Goody is going to be very all-in on this. He has completely stopped producing works. He has produced just enough workers to get saturated on one base, and he is really going to be all-in with this. If this Banshee uh, harass does not pay off, he's going to be in a lot of trouble here. Nurtio now poking up with a lot of Zerglings here, seeing that there are only two Marines, and Goody not at all revealing that he is going for this two-port Banshee. Hasn't said anything, hasn't responded to Nurtio, but as we can see, Nurtio is now got the Roach Warren going down here. We do have a Spore Crawler going down the natural. Do we have one in the main? Yeah, we already have one up in the main, so even if uh, Goody gets Cloak up at this point, Nurtio is just very, very well prepared for this absolutely unbelievable read here by Nurtio. Wow, that is such good build reading there by Nurtio. And now he's just continuing to drone up, feeling very, very confident. 41 workers to 28 at the moment. Very, very good economic spot here for Nurtio if he just holds off these uh, Banshees. As we can see, four Banshees are about to attack at once. This could be very, very strong here for Goody. This is something that Zerg players definitely uh, dread, is that mass Banshee harass. This could potentially deal lots of damage. Four Banshees takes out, they take out Queens just so, so fast. The four Banshees are now moving into the main expansion of Nurtio. Gonna start getting a few free shots off there on that hatchery, but now uh, all the Queens are now moving up into the main expansion here. Looks like Nurtio trying to pull back. Nice transfuse goes down by Nurtio, and he's going to be able to fend off these Banshees, I think. This one Banshee took a lot of damage. Goody managed to pull it back in time, and now he's producing a couple more Banshees here on the production tab. Nurtio doesn't look like he's going for any kind of big counterattack. Looks like uh, his response to this is just going to be deny the natural expansion and just sit here and get his uh, two bases fully saturated here and know that he's in a really, really good economic spot to hold this off. In the meantime, we have more. Uh, we have a Spire Tech coming down. Down, more spore crawlers going down at all the bases right now for Nurtio, and how is Goody going to be able to react to this? He did repair up that uh, one Banshee, and he's now coming back into the main expansion to try to see if he can't deal some more damage here. But as you can see, there's a lot of spore crawlers now, lots of queens up here for Nurtio, and I think Goody is going to be completely held off right now, and Nurtio is going to be in a, such a good spot to win this game. Goody coming around right now, going to try to see if he can't poke into the natural expansion and try to see if he can deal some damage here. One queen does manage to go down, and more queens taking a lot of damage. Another queen goes down here, but a lot of damage being dealt to these Banshees as well. Three Banshees have been taken out here. Will they be able to finish off these queens? Looks like they're not going to be able to, yeah, looks like they might be able to actually pick off those queens, but there are so many spore crawlers here in these expansions right now, and Spire about to go up here. Is Goody going to be able to take it out? I am not sure, but we do have spore crawlers here coming in all around. More Banshees moving in right now, or more Queens rather, coming in right now. So many spore crawlers, and all the Banshees go down, and Goody, gee, geez out of that game. Maybe not necessarily the best game for Nurtio's EVT skill, but wow, that was an absolutely incredible read there by Nurtio. Wow. I, I, don't, I don't know if I, I might I might look for another Nurtio game uh, versus Terran, because I don't know about that. That was a really, really good read by Nurtio, but other than that, he really didn't do that much. He just had a perfect read on the situation, threw down some Spore Crawlers, and got a lot of Queens and held it off pretty much. Goody called, was forced to call GG after that. He was just way, way too far behind in economy since he didn't even have his natural expansion up. So we are going to be going on to a Nurtio ZVP right now. So stick with me. See how Nurtio does against them Protoss players.